Well, hello everybody. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, and that is I wanted to show off my collection of curvy dolls. I started collecting them only a few months ago, and the curvies have just become my favorites. And now I've got nine of them at this point, and I hope to get more, of course. I'm not done yet. But what I wanted to do was just show you my whole collection and introduce you to each of the dolls one at a time. And I think they're just all beautiful, really. I prefer them now over the regular Barbies. I think they're just gorgeous. They come in so many different skin tones and hairstyles and hair colors. It's just so much fun to collect them. And we're just going to take a look at all of them. And I've put them in the order that I acquired them. These two in the middle, it's a little bit funny what I did to them because if you've seen my other video, I switched heads. Or as my granddaughter likes to say, I switched bodies. Well, no matter whether I switch the head or switch the body or switch both, these two dolls really are in reverse order. I got the made to move first. That's with that head that you see right here. And then I switched her with that head. And so she's got the second body in the first head. But no matter, we're gonna look at all of them. I've put them back into their original clothing and we're going to take a look at each one one at a time well here she is up close and she is still one of my all-time favorites i've used her on my trailer and as the uh, photograph on my uh, facebook account and i think she's just beautiful i've put her back in her original dress and her shoes now this is really funny but i try to look up what number she was i did a hunt online checking out what she was called what was her number and all i could come up with was curvy barbie nobody had her number and then lo and behold i found one of these more recent cards and it had all the barbies listed there including this one and i found out she is number 26 and as you can see i changed her hairstyle a little bit i've made it into a high pony and braided it but other than that i did put her back into her original dress which is looks like a shirt and skirt but it's a one-piece dress with the ruffle down the front i wish they wouldn't put the curvy barbies in skirts but that's what they do most often so there she was my very first one and she's the one that just made me fall in love with curvies i still think she's one of the most beautiful dolls then the next one that i acquired after her was this one which is called doll to tie dye for because her dress is a tie dyed print I've braided her hair as well it's kind of coming out a bit she originally didn't have a braid and I made some tight braids on the side so that was kind of fun to do and I think it suits her um, she's also really pretty but I do think the other one's a little prettier and she's curvy and she's got actually a high heeled foot which is kind of rare because most of them don't. Now, having said that, my first Barbie also had the, the, my first curvy Barbie, that is. She also had the higher heel foot, but they don't seem to be doing it as often anymore. So we'll just set these two aside. And then the next one I got was Made to Move. And they call her Made to Move with her auburn hair. And I'm hiding her body because she's got the wrong body on her right now. And I gave her a new hairstyle. Lots of little braids all tied up together. And I love this hairstyle. I've left it in her for quite a while. It was hard to do with all these little braids twisted around. And she was in the made to move body. So her body looked like this. And of course the yoga outfit with no shoes because they don't put shoes on the made to move dolls and later on I got the future is bright that's this one she comes later 
and she was in this outfit with that necklace and they did tie these necklaces down on the dolls because they swing around they don't quite lay right if they're not tied they do lay flat if you touch them but as soon as you move the doll around the opening swings to the front so I'm really happy that I switched heads and if you haven't seen how I did it I have a whole video that you can watch on how to do it what I like about this doll is they actually put her in shorts which is getting away from the skirt which is good and she's flat-footed and of course the made to move doll is flexible so she can wear a high heel or a flat but I just love the made to move now I was never really crazy for her face I don't know why she's pretty but there's just something about her features that's just not special to me whereas this one I think is beautiful also the made to move is kind of disappointing because she's so so light skinned she really stands out from the rest of them as being really pale and so I had to wait till I found a curvy pale doll that I could switch bodies or switch heads. Then there's this doll who is number 105. And I waited a long time to get her because she was sort of out of stock for a while. She's really pretty. I loved her right from the get-go and she's also in a flat shoe i don't know if she was in high top sneakers or flat ones but i try to get the doll's original clothes back on them i don't keep them that way if you watch my videos i'm always changing them into my own clothes that i love to make for them but i just love her hoop earrings and she didn't come with this necklace i made it for her and i'm really happy with how it matches the earrings so she was doll number five and i think i forgot to tell you but i did want all the numbers this one when she had the other head on her was called future is bright and she was number 98. i know it's really hard to find the numbers on these dolls now this one is known as camo she's my only blonde haired barbie i didn't change her hairstyle yet so she came with that little braid up on top and she's got hoop earrings and this cute little camo skirt and she's also in flat feet with the high top trainers so she's a cute one and I like her a lot but I haven't done much with her yet and then there's my most recent ones that came from my new haul if you saw them there's this one which is in the leopard leopard outfit and she's got pink hair and she's number 109 she's actually got a higher heel so i guess maybe i'm not right about what kind of feet they give them and if you saw my video on unboxing her i was surprised to see that she had a dark scalp but I think they did that to give her a sort of realistic look of having darker um, roots. And she's got the frills around the top there. And then this really gorgeous one with the platinum blonde hair, really white hair. She's number 63 and I love her dress. It's really silky, really pretty. And she's also in a high heel. Don't see too many high heeled fancy shoes like this on the curvies so that's really nice to have and that's her original hairstyle as well i haven't played around with her yet and then my newest edition was this one who was a deluxe edition and she came with these gorgeous sunglasses and she actually came in two different outfits she's got the same kind of necklace only in green and she's really really beautiful she is number 105 and she was in the series like i said with the additional outfit and she's got gorgeous red hair which is interesting because you can compare the hair color this one the made to move is called made to move with auburn hair and i couldn't find a number for her at all maybe they don't number the made to moves but if that's auburn hair to me that's way more blonde this is what i would call auburn hair it's way redder than that one 
so there you have it my collection of gorgeous curvies and we're gonna take one last look at all of them so oops there's in the wrong order i wanted to put them in the order i got them this was my number one first one and then this pretty girl and then I got the made to move and switched her with this one. And then my number 105, my camo doll, which is 94. And my pink haired one, which is 109. My platinum white haired blonde, number 63. And my, oh, I said she was 105. She's not. She's number 84, sorry about that. 105 was this one. I got confused because I wrote down that she had a striped dress and she has a striped dress and she has a striped dress. But this one is the deluxe Barbie because she was more money because she had an extra outfit and she is number 84. And there you have all of them. I hope you love them as much as I do. They're my favorites. I've got a few more in mind that I want to collect and I'm just hoping to be able to save up the money and get them soon. See you later, everyone. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button down below on the side and touch the bell so you'll be notified of all future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you soon.